Hey. What's up? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick bark and lay graft here. It's mid-June, perfect time to do it. Um, I start grafting persimmons anywhere from early June to late June. Uh, there's about a month window where it's good, uh, ambient outdoor temperatures anyway. Uh, so I'm gonna graft Hokkaido, oops, I'm gonna graft Hokkaido, which is a pure khaki, um, has male flowers. I don't know if it's fully male or a hermy or whatever, but um, yeah. So this is my grafting subject here. It's a uh, four foot tall rootstock persimmon. Now the first part and probably most tragic is having to take down your persimmon. Um, you want to snip it somewhere. You can graft closer to the root. I do it a few inches up most of the time. Take it off. Step one, get rid of that. Step two, um, and for bark grafts I like to wrap the top part of the graft where it's going to be grafted in parafilm. And that keeps the root, uh, the rootstock bark from splitting too much when you insert the scion. So there we have that. Um, let's get a close up. I'm going to do the whittling right in front of the camera so you can sort of see what I'm doing. Um, I give it about an inch and a half. Uh, you want to make a long, narrow cut because we're doing a bark graft. So you want you want this sort of thing going on. Um, you can sort of see what I'm doing, but uh, yeah, make it smooth. Take off any crap on the end, you know, like where it dried out or whatever. And you want to make a fine point toward the end. Um, this is where you're going to insert the graft. So, like so. Um, I like to shave a little bit toward the bottom. Just take a little bit of the bark off and that helps increase the contact a little bit. And yeah, so there we have the basic shape and what happens is this gets inserted. I'm going to see if you can't see it uh, like so. Or you can see where it's sliding in and under the bark um, and the, the plastic kind of holds everything together as you slide it in. You slide it all the way to the top of the cut and there you have contact under the cambium um, and inside the cambium there. And that is a successful bark graft. Um, it'll start to sprout in about a week or so and then uh, we'll leaf out in about a month. Here it is all wrapped up. Put some zip ties on it. Wrap it up to keep the moisture in, and now we wait. This is Taishu, the uh, khaki male. You can see these types of grafts, they do quite well. Uh, this is two weeks ago, uh, another Ukrainian hybrid male, a uh, persimmon called Star, Zeroxa. Uh, I did this two weeks ago as well.